I will come for you. This is coming from Dabota Lawson to Linda KJ. So according to the long episode she wrote, she's saying that um, Linda KJ's platform mm. never carries anything good about her. So if she wears, I mean, we all know Dabota has like an awesome fashion sense, right? And she has the body. So if she's wearing all that, it's, it never gets to that particular blog. But when she's on bikini or something that will create some kind of negative comments, mm. it, is, uh, it gets to um, the blog very quickly also she was talking i think her main problem was when i don't know how that post went but it's a case of people insinuating that she bleached the skin of her daughter, daughter to and look like the father <laughs> it's just <laughs> funny it look like the father yeah because the father is dark now i don't know i, I think you guys know the father no nah, the thing is nobody knows the father people are just pe speculating spe speculating um who's the father who's father? okay so linda put up a post mm. and said um who is the real father of the child something like what that what is her business you know I, that's that's what our problem is like why would you even put up a post like that so people will now come and drag me in your comments and she's section also and saying to... that the comments that they approve i don't know mm. how, how she sure of this but i mean like you deliberately um, approves comments that are negative and doesn't approve the ones that are good i don't know how she confirms that mm. but that's weird well, i think um i like what double child lawson did with um Linda Ikeji because Linda Ikeji has faced her own fair share of social media dragon. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Especially when she preached on celibacy and then she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Especially like when um, Kemi Olu <laughs> Lawyer said she was wearing baby bump mm -hmm. and then she delivered. Especially when they said. Um, when she was driving from Ikoyi to Acha. Inside traffic. Inside traffic. Do you understand? <laughs> Especially when they said. Um, she wasn't the one that bought the Rolls Royce for a child, or was it? Was it Rolls Royce? Bentley. Bentley. Yeah, a Bentley. That she wasn't the one that was the baby daddy, but she came out with receipts saying that, oh, I got the scar for Jay. What's his name? Jay. 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 Right. Jay. I think it's Jay. C. No, uh, J A Y C. Mm, I think so it's Jace. pronounced Jay. C. I think it's pronounced. No, I think Jace. it's pronounced Jay. C. Not Jay. Mm. So. Um, I'm not sure. I think. Yeah, it's I think I've heard that's how you think. Jace. Oh, you Has better. Jace. Okay, yes. so okay. Okay, then it's Jace. So and all of that, you get. So if you are a single mother and you face such things, it's only right for you to respect other single moms that because up to date, we do not even know. It's still speculation that so so person is the father of Linda Ikeji. No, no, she's no, no, actually no, confirmed, confirmed the guy because she mm. she I think she gave the she guy wrote, the surname or something or she wrote something. Yeah, in her story so explaining herself. The guy herself. said anything. The guy doesn't need to the say guy, anything. Exactly. Exactly. So until they say something, me I'll call it speculation. No, she, no, no, no. She, she is saying that this is no, I, don't I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> If you claim anybody now, anybody can claim anybody. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so. That's another level. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, well, do you want to ask something if I see what I want to say? No, I mean, what Linda is doing is wrong. If this accusation is true, you know, we don't know how true it is. Mm -hmm. It might not be Linda that is putting all those things out. It might be people working on that. We don't know how true all this is. But mm -hmm. if it's true, I think Linda should do better. Better. Well, we're, right now, we're advocating for women supporting women, not tearing um, each other down. Mm. So she should really do better. If she's approving negative comments, she needs to stop it. However, I feel like the problem Linda KG is facing is because her blog is after her name. So mm. whatever she posts is like, it's Linda KG, it's Linda KG. I mean, a TMZ does worse. Nobody's dragging any particular person. It's the platform they're doing. And she can look at it and say, I mean, it's my job. I'm doing my business. What I'm supposed to do is to create conversations mm. from the lives of celebrities, influencers, everybody. If I feel like this is going to create conversation, it is gossip blogging. It is not, if you need proper news, maybe you should go to Plus TV Africa's website or you go to Premium Times and all that. But if you need gossip and gist and all that, that is what Lina Cage's platform is really all about, right? So mm. I think the problem is because her name is directly attached to this thing, even now that she has grown to having a an office and a big um, company now, Lina Cage TV and all mm -hmm. that, people still have the mindset that she's the one sitting down yeah, and uploading Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, I think that's where the problem is. I don't is. think she's the one putting all these things out there. Yeah. She has a lot of people working for her. Yeah, she but, can't pick um, on you in particular. I don't think you're you going know? to see any rubbish on Plus TV Africa. If I write for rubbish on Plus TV Africa, there's somebody that would still see that. Which is why because I'm that's saying, why I Plus mentioned TV if you want a proper news proper platform, news. Yes, go to so those websites I mentioned. If 
you um you see a story about a double to lawsuit, for instance, mm. and it is written like it is an unconfirmed case. Mm -hmm. As a CEO, as a chief um, editor, mm -hmm. you should go through those things and be like, did you confirm it? Well, you but do you know that Linda Kedge's blog is like an Olofofo blog? Well, that's what I'm saying. It is gist. They are doing what they want to do or what they are really supposed to do. So I don't even expect that Linda Kedja at this stage with everything she does actually mm -hmm. has time mm -hmm. to go through all the posts mm -hmm. that goes on the website right now. I, I someone I can mean, she has bigger correct things me, but I don't right think now, so. You know. Maybe about um, smaller people, but not someone like that. But a law since you should be interested because oh. they're Why? in the circle. Because they're in the same circle. They, they are in the same matter. circle. She would bring this. This is not how she yeah, writes. Yeah, it doesn't story. even they matter. They had phone calls and conversations and say, babe, bring this thing. I know people that are in the same circle with Linda KJ, and I know, in fact, they might not even reach the platform before a conversation will get. So I don't think they're in the same circle. They are just baby mamas, not in the same <laughs> circle. Baby mamas, wow. Is yeah. that what she called herself? But she got engaged now. Didn't Who's Linda that? get engaged? Who? Is she still Lord of the Rings? Who? Linda uh, Gage. Did she, she get engaged? Yeah, she did get engaged. She told no, you. No, I remember Kemi came out to say that engagement was... Yeah, engaged. but yeah, she never she 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 And then she, she purposely didn't talk about that yeah. part anymore, so I don't mm. think it was real. Okay. And she never, she in her story, she never said anything like getting engaged with No, she man. did, actually. There was a time Linda claimed to be engaged. And no, not showed. in the story. Not it was the after story. that that she came out to write her long mm. episode and all that. Mm. But I feel like people should just understand that that's Linda Cage's platform now. It's, it's just a platform. It's no longer personal mm. to her.